at the centre of it, you've got this big monster called Prometheus, as we call him in this film. And Prometheus was the guy that tried to steal fire from the gods, and that's what Victor's trying to do. He's trying to steal life-giving fire from God. <laughs> He'll set up a shot and you think, I, I'm not good enough yet or knowledgeable enough yet to sometimes quite understand what we'll get in that moment. And then you see on the monitor and what comes out is just beautiful. Master Nathaniel, please. It could be broken. Look, I've made you this diagram of a risk support I'm going to construct for you. I've told you, I don't care for any bloody diagrams. Freak. Did you manage to escape this morning? I did. That was over been to London so many times, but barely seen beyond this tent. <laughs> I get so excited about being here. It can be a bit overwhelming, so many people. Are there? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone seems there's somewhere to go. What did you do today? I read, and um, then I drew this. Speaking of books. I got you this. Someone was throwing it away. Someone was throwing? Who was throwing this away? <laughs> this is a Percy system of the anatomy. This is one of the most up-to-date medical textbooks available. I mean, Laura, this, this is incredible. I've never had anything like this. Um, I know how much you love your books. So. Laura, three minutes! That's my cue. You don't want to upset dear Lord Barnaby. <laughs> Oh, Miss Laura. Yes. When you were practicing earlier. Yes. I thought there might be something wrong with the riggings on the trapeze. Oh. Uh, well, I'll take that up with Mr. Plough. Thank you, kind sir. Thank you. A doctor, you say? We're not qualified as such. Bandages and bones, trying to make himself useful. A hunchback. There he is. Oh, it's a disgusting creature, really. Kindness he wants to keep him. That's been my undoing, isn't it? Hey. Kindness. How much did you say was missing? Stolen? It's 220 quid. The old London take. What am I gonna do? These families are gonna go hungry now. Now, if you ask me, this whole thing was planned in advance. How so? Well, some of the boys said this other fella was here earlier. Nosing around, looking in the cages. At the animals? It wasn't the first time, neither. Really? Yeah. Nathaniel said he saw him the other day, too. He didn't think nothing of it at the time. Perhaps he liked the animals. I'd like to inspect the scene of the crime now. So you see, there's considerable damage, but I would regard this as an internal matter for the college. You may think so. When one of our students misbehaves, it falls under our jurisdiction. Our faculty will apply such sanctions as are appropriate. Misbehaves? The full details are somewhat hazy, I admit. An animal was involved? Apparently. But no one knows what kind. Alistair, any thoughts? 
So uh, I think it may be best dealt with by the authorities here. An experiment here. was performed, yes? It is a college, sir. There's no record of any experiment. One of our students misbehaved. And you wish to protect the reputation of your institution? In which case, you'd best cooperate with me before I launch an investigation into the provenance of your cadavers. Do not misunderstand me, sir. Science is one of the glories of mankind. God gave us the world and life so that we may fashion it to our use, and so we have. In fact, we draw a line. Do we not? when we encroach upon God's domain. Sir, I think you're stepping beyond our role here. This is not a police What matter. animal, Alistair? What animal reaches so high, moves at such a speed? What animal is fashioned in such a way as to perpetrate such mayhem? Sir. Not one of God's creatures! Some alien form for which there is no name, there's no taxonomy, there's no category. But how did such a thing come into being? That's the horror. Not the beast. About where it leads us. I can no longer set foot on my own university campus and we are being investigated by Scotland Yard. Finnegan is our only option. Just unpack. Excellent. You made it. This way, right this way. So glad you could make it. This is Fritz Detweiler, the man I told you about, Victor. Fritz, this is Victor Frankenstein, an Igor Straussman. I do not normally work with partners, but Finnegan has told me you young men can do things, wondrous things with flesh, perhaps too wondrous to be believed. That Bile is an engineer, aren't you, Fritz? I am the foremost engineer in Europe. It seems something of a reach. As does the ability to reanimate the dead. <laughs> <laughs> Here, you'll see, you'll see. Dead not even an hour. How did you come by this? One of my medical school case studies. I very charitably decided to work on a Sunday, and lo, the baby Winthrop passed on. From the parents? Lower class people, the Winthrops of Devonshire Road. I told them I'd taken the child to the mortuary. This was found inside the infant's throat. We should have watched the child with more care. So, everything in accordance with the blueprints you gave me? Well, you gave him our plans. Everything is satisfactory. So, can you do it? Dead not one hour? As I said. Mm-hmm. It's 
Absolutely. Please. Give him some space. Here goes some assistance, please. Tell me this will work. It might, might, Victor. Either we succeed in saving life, secure our funding, or we fail and remain exactly as we are now with the police breathing down our necks and not a penny in our pockets. Help me. All right, then. Which one of you is going to be a good sport and kill it? What? Well, the parents are arranging a funeral. What do you expect me to tell them? Victor? Sacrifices have to be made. Sacrifices? Not this, Victor. This My word! For the money I'm about to put behind you, you can resurrect a dozen babies. We have saved this child's life. We cannot undo we this. We cannot Victor. risk exposing ourselves publicly. Is that You're it? our generous benefactor. Victor, you're becoming Mr. a monster. Finnegan. You're Please a take monstrous, him away. bloody bastard. You could have let this happen. Victor, you, you cannot allow this. of this. How little you think of me. Thank <laughs> you. 